So of course, uh, first we always start off by working on the actual skills, and then we get to the word problems, the fun stuff. Okay, so we're going to start off tonight, um, and actually we're finishing off our work on math tonight. We've done fractions, we've done percents, we did ratio of proportions last week, and now we are doing basic shape measurement. So remember, if you have those four skills nailed down, you have all you need to score at least a 410 or better on the GED test and get it done. What about the don'ts? Can we go back to fractions? Well, yeah, we will go back to fractions, but you get it, so stop it. Four fifty is the average. Okay. Four ten okay. is what you have to have in order to pass each individual test. Okay. But remember, so if your scores are higher elsewhere, you can afford to squeak on by with a four ten on math, right? I mean, many of you have scores on reading in the five hundreds, right? So that's going to cover. You know, that's going to bring up your average, you know. So if you take a 500 score, you know, and then you average that with a 410 on math and, you know, a few of the scores, those, <clears throat> so the average being 450, if you have a 500, that gives you what? That's 50 points to help out elsewhere with other scores that might be below 450, right? So that's how that works. So anyway, that's what we focus on this because this is, this is just what everybody has an issue with math, right? So we just do it this way. So basic shape measurement, so you have your fractions, you have your percents, you have your ratio proportions, and now we're gonna talk about basic shape measurement. 